In his book of social physics, Alex Bentland says, One can imagine ancient humans sitting around a campfire making suggestions or relating observations with other participants responding by signaling their level of interest or approval using head nods, gestures, and vocal signs. Animal behavior research, for instance bees and apes, supports this idea, meaning the importance of signs, even grunts, and body language in the most ancient group communications. Our sociometric badges and their data demonstrate that this is also what happens in modern group problem-solving sessions. I have become a friend of Chief Mel Lone Hill of the Oglala Lakota Tribe in Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. I am part of a hunting party of interdisciplinary researchers. One thing is clear. The Lakota are dying off fast, literally, as a nation and as individuals. Cybernetic methods of organization resonate with the traditional ways of the Lakota. Maybe social physics has a role to play here, which is of life and death urgency. Tribal discussions were once carried around the fire. Now they are boggled by bureaucracy and red tape imposed by a despondent White House thousands of miles away. Social physics is already saying two things we can use. First, that transportation systems do wonders to increase idea sharing in a community. The Lakota have no public transportation, or any transportation for that matter. They are among the poorest of the poor in the United States. The other thing that social physics can say loudly is that the American society would gain a lot from the dialogue-based culture and oral traditions for effective and humane government. With the current technologies at our disposal, we should wait no longer to install participative democracies the world over, instead of the broken representative democracy system now in place. By tending to the Lakota way of thinking, we would be rescuing ourselves also.